So that was a fairly sloppily played introduction and first verse of uh, Tin Soldier by Small Faces. Um, I was asked by some channel viewers to do a tutorial on this uh, intro bit and some of the little fills that Marriott does uh, there and in the verses. So uh, I'm doing so today on this uh, 1964 Epiphone Casino, which uh, is uh, just like Paul Weller's, except that Weller's is a 66, so this is actually uh, two years older than his. Plus his has a uh, stop tail piece, whereas mine has got the vibrato system. And this one has 12 gauge strings on it. Now, why the heavier strings? Um, granted, they are harder to bend, right? just because they're heavy and strong, but they give you a very stable, strong sounding tone. Uh, no matter how hard you're wailing on the guitar, they stay in tune pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got on the guitar today. Um, and through these P90s, uh, they give this great uh, rhythm guitar uh, a wonderful growl. Um, so, uh, why did I mention Weller? Well, um, not only the guitar, of course, but also uh, he covered this song with his uh, Paul Weller movement back in the early 90s when he was just getting off his feet after Style Council had run its course. Um, and his band did a great version of this, uh, only Weller's playing a Strat in that video. Um, and I think Marriott's guitar playing had just a, you know, and Weller admits this freely, a huge impact on Weller's sound and stage presence and all of the rest. So I think this, um, this intro sounds very Weller-esque, even though it's Marriott, right? It sounds like something Paul Weller would do, especially on that first uh, Introducing Paul Weller album uh, that he put out in, what, 91? Something like that? Anyway, that really cool intro, uh, you know, is just based around this E chord. Right? Everybody knows how to play an E. But that intro is just picking out some of the notes in the E chord. So it's basically... Did you see that? So I've got an open A and hammering on at the second fret to an open D. And see if I can get that cleanly. And that trill is a little tricky, right? And then he drops right back into the E again. Right? Just picking out the notes around the E then he drops into a G shape, right? And then we're at a D with the addition of the pinky at the high E third fret with a pull off. Into an A, same sort of thing, at the uh, B string, third fret with a pull off. Right back into an E. So all I did there was pull off on the uh, D string second fret.
Now this time through, so all I'm doing there is hammering on and off on the A and D string. So. I'm at the fourth fret in an A minor shape. And this plunges us into that really great pre chorus and chorus. So I think it's something like this. It's doing all the really cool arm motions and stuff. Um, when we come back around for the third verse, the little fill goes something like this. Right? So it's just that same thing, E shape. The very end of the song is a really nice progression. Um, it starts from an A and just works its way up the neck and then big crescendo into an E with the addition of the pinky at the second fret on the G string. But let's see, something like this. So you got all three fingers there on the third fret, A, D, and G. For the big finish, right? What a great song. And uh, huge influence on Paul Weller. And we're all better off for it, aren't we? Keep listening to Small Faces. <laughs>